who shot you? What's that about Tupac? All right, let me put this to you like this. We knew what we were involved in. I knew, Sean knew. The artist might not have known everything that was going on. And what I found is this is an excellent example of how my former business partner operates. He operates on a few different levels. One level, the masses will understand. That's the low level, common. Then there's another level in between. Then there's a higher level, principalities <laughs> and power bases. He operates in three dimensional, if you can understand. So who shot you could mean a few different things for a few different people. But what it meant ultimately was what it was ultimately meant to mean. And it landed perfectly. C's and them might not think it was supposed to be for that. Biggie might not have thought that when he wrote the lyrics that it was going to be used for that. But the way it was marketed by the company and released in the succession of things that were going on that we were dealing with on all the levels that we were dealing, that record did what it was supposed to do. And that's a perfect example of how my former business partner works and thinks. And if you can remember that three-dimensional type of thinking, then you can start to pierce through a lot of the common things that are being told and then get to what's really behind those things. So it was intentional there. So Puffy, he dropped Who Shasha after Tupac got shot at Quad Studios for people can think Who Shasha was about Tupac. Yeah, I think it was, I think on, if you're working three-dimensional and you're playing three-dimensional chess, first of all, we're always playing chess. Let's start there. We're always playing chess. Now, if you remember a show called Star Trek, there's such a thing as three-dimensional chess. So now, with three-dimensional chess, you're thinking on a few different levels. My former business partner thinks on a few different levels at one time. When you're sleeping, he's thinking on those different levels. So when you get that common message, there's two or three other messages behind that. So yes, it was meant to drop, it was meant to send the message that it did send, it was meant to aggravate a wound. It was meant to stand up and say something in the middle of what was perceived to be people coming at you. And we, after all, wasn't as big as we wanted to be at the time, but we wanted to be bigger. We didn't get to be as big as we wanted to be until Biggie died. That opened us up, his death. But we were working on it and getting there, and those were the challenges along the way. You had to stand up, because we did poke at them with that, and we acted like we didn't, but you know we did. Everybody know we did. Yeah, we did. I might not be as emphatic as I say it when you answer it, but you know we did. They knew we did. Yeah, who shot you?